टुडे इन डीएम एस्ट्रोलॉजी वी आर गोइंग टू सी एन अनदर वेरी पावरफुल रेमेडी फॉर राहू वी ऑल हिंदू वेरी फॉर्मली बिलीव ऑन लॉर्ड शिवा एंड वी ऑल नो दैट लॉर्ड शिवा इज अ ओनली गॉड हुज इज अ फर्स्ट पर्सन एज इन द अनदर रिलीजन दे बिलीव अ फर्स्ट मैन एंड वुमेन वी बिलीव एज अ आदि पर्सन एज अ लॉर्ड शिवा so by praying lord shiva ansh that is called jyotirlinga we get relief from many things here i want to connect that all 12 houses with the 12 jyotirling it has been attached we all know that a rahu is a many cause of problems so whenever a people is having a rahu in any house when they pray with this remedy or when they visit this place they will get relief out of it and if you not able to visit here in india you yes, are situated abroad then you can just have a photo you just have a pray you just have a mantra of that jyotirling and you will get a benefit out of it so let us see how it is being arranged all 12 houses with 12 jyotirlinga so all the jyotirling is a swayambhu it is rise automatically without any intervention is a natural so all the 12 jyotirling connected with the one house and you have if you have a rahu in that house that also jyotirling you can pray or any house remedy that you are not getting you can pray to, to that house jyotirling and you will get benefit out of it what they are let us see first house we all know the first house is about our health our well being and our own power vitality and immunity if you have any challenges in the uh, bodily or physically even in the mentally the first jyotirling it is mentioned is uh, situated in somnath it is a uh, somnath so somnath is a first uh, jyotirling where whenever you visit in saurashtra gujarat state it is situated in the somnath so somnath is a first jyotirling where when you visit you will find a good vibration bodily vibration and you will get a good result out of the physical things so if you are facing any problem physically or any physical challenges do visit the somnath and get a good benefit out of it so somnath is a very powerful we all know there are so many attack on the somnath temple is there but still it is still uh, standing and giving the power so do visit that where if your rahu is in first house or if you are facing any bodily challenges physically na uh, problem then you can visit it related to the family financial issue social issue family issue financial issue that is we know that second house or if your rahu is placed in second house you will be given the mallikarjun mallikarjun is situated in the andhra pradesh in the near to the hyderabad you will find this mallikarjun uh jyotirlinga so you can visit the mallikarjun uh, jyotirlinga or or you can pray that uh, mallikarjun shiva linga you will uh, find good relief out of it then you will be if you are facing challenges in the new venture new work any thing related to the traveling siblings any dispute between the siblings then it will be given mahakal mahakal is situated in the ujjain in madhya pradesh so in madhya pradesh ujjain you will find mahakal you can also find the uh, rahu che rahu man, the, ma, temple that is a bhairav kal bhairav temple also in the ujjain so you can do visit there and get a good relief if your rahu is placed in third house it will be benefit for you to get the result of that house just in the fourth house when you are facing challenges in the house if you are not able to buy house or if you how you have a house but not getting pleasure out of house car education very important things if your child is not uh, learning properly then also you can go and visit omkareshwar omkareshwar jyotirlinga is placed in the indore in the madhya pradesh only so there also you can go and visit and get the good relief and even your rahu is in fourth house you can visit there and get the good relief from there so that important that uh, jyotirling is then we go to the fifth house where we see the children if you have any issue related to the children or if you have a child and you are facing challenges or problem 
even in your higher education even in your good deeds you are not getting the result of your good deeds then it's all about the fifth house or your rahu is in fifth house then you will be given as a vaidyanath it is situated in the parli maharashtra parli vaidyanath it is also called vaidyanath or vaidyanath vaidyanath also so that is in the parli maharashtra many people say that it is situated somewhere else also you can check better and visit but by my best knowledge it is parli it is in maharashtra parli vaidyanath it is situated in maharashtra you can visit that now if you are facing some challenges related to the health disease enemy that if you have so many debt and you are not releasing any debt then for sixth jyotiling it is a bhima shankar again it is situated in the mountain region of maharashtra so you can visit that in the maharashtra in maharashtra you will find five jyotirlinga so bhima shankar is also one of a jyotirling whereby you can release or your rahu is in sixth house you get release of a disease enemy litigation any death related uh, problem you can get relief so or if you got any promotion in the job that is also one of a, a good place to visit or rahu in sixth house now if you are not getting any marriage related problem if you are facing a problem to a spouse not getting right person or having marriage but not getting pleasure then it is a seventh jyotiling call as a rameshwar sri rameshwar is situated in the tamil nadu we call as a setu bandhu setu means which is sand which is made up of a sand lord rama has made this jyotiling he has spread this jyotiling while he is want to victory over the uh, ravana and to get back his wife so that is why those who are facing challenges and problem in the uh, marriage life or having a rahu in 7000 then rameshwar setu bandhu rameshwar in tamil nadu it is the best place to visit then if you are facing any uh, fear about your life any danger any accident mishaps you have faced and you get the fear about your life or death or suicidal tendency any of our out of this if you are facing any challenges then there is a onda nagnath it is also called nageshwar it is called darukavani some says it is placed in the dwarka near the gujarat the dwarka it is placed darukavani or some say it is placed in the somewhere in the odisha so i am not disputing you can check better to my best knowledge i am saying uh, saying everything and you can also check by your own Uh, uh, resources so there it is a eight house you can go and visit the onda nagnath or nageshwar nageshwar temple you can see in the darukavane and you can pray to that then related to the luck if you are facing any challenges related to luck foreign traveling religious matter if you are not getting a real mentor this all issues with related to the ninth house you will be visiting Lord Vishwanath. It is in the Kashi. It is said the Kashi Vishwanath. So it is the best place to visit and get a good luck. Even for planning for the next life, because ninth house we believe is the next birth. To get your next birth powerful, you can visit Kashi Vishwanath. That is why many people wish that they should end in the Kashi. That is why it is say Kashi ka Maran. so if you get chance to visit there then your next life also you can improve so kashi vishwanath it is situated in the banaras uttar pradesh state you can visit it and get a good luck related to your religious thing related to your foreign traveling settlement it will be a very good place and very powerful place vishwanath kashi vishwanath or in the banaras it is a very very powerful related to your deeds related to your business if you are finding challenges in your business profession name fame recognition you wish to enter in the politics also suppose then it is at trambakeshwar trambakeshwar is a very powerful place i do visited so many time in the trambakeshwar and i found always being charge so you can visit the trambakeshwar and get a good name fame recognition position business improvement all things in that house so 10th house if you have a rahu that also you can regularly visit trambakeshwar it is situated near to the nasik 
and that is why all the pitru shanti has been done in the trambakeshwar that is a place for the pitru shanti we know about the gaya it is for matruka and pitruka all this rag has been done so here in the west region there is a trambakeshwar where this all shanti is done that is a 10th house the encumbrance of the parents can be removed from them so that is a 10th house very powerful if you are not getting your wish fulfillment desire fulfillment then it is a 11th house where you will be having a kedarnath lord kedarnath is a four part of a uh, we know uh, visited the char dham batrinath kedarnath yamunotri and gangotri out of which kedarnath sri kedarnath which is situated in the uh, uttarakhand previously it was uttar pradesh but now it is a uttarakhand you can visit there and get a power if your wish is not fulfilling you are facing challenges in the friend circle social if you are involved in the wrong friendship then also it is a place you can get a good almost all the desire fulfillment lord kedarnath will pray you bless you if your rahu is also in 11th house you should visit there and get the best result out of it and in last for loss for uh, moksha for moksha for loss and uh, for any kind of uh, sudden events accident anything which occurs suddenly then it is a uh, grishneshwar sri grishneshwar is situated near aurangabad in maharashtra state so in maharashtra all together i said you it is a uh, five jyotirling which is placed in the maharashtra this is a place grishneshwar where your loss will be controlled if you are not able to control your loss then it is a uh, grishneshwar aurangabad you can visit it is nearby to ellora ajanta caves so you can visit there also but our main focus is about the grishneshwar sri grishneshwar is good for the 12 jyotirling for the losses so all this uh, 12 jyotirling it is very very powerful it says that if you daily recite this mantra saurashtra to somnath all this mantra if you recite morning and evening at least uh, once then you will be relieved from the sins committed in past seven uh, life so in past seven life whatever the sins you have made if you want a release from that then this is a right mantra you can chant i have given this uh, mantra so do recite this mantra or you will find 12 jyotirling mantra you will get this mantra from google who visit this uh, get uh, will get all his wish fulfillment that is why i say do visit this place and fulfill your wish related to that house so related to that house you can fulfill your wish and get a good relief from it and once karma get eliminated as lord shiva satisfied to the worship so by worship this lord shiva is also bless you and will release you from the deeds which you have performed so this benefit is uh, very much important you all will get this all blessing that is why i created this video and it is the best to visit any of whenever you find and in our hindu religion it says that one has to visit all twelve jyotirling during his lifetime so if you are uh, uh, lucky to visit all these thing then your all the sins will be wipe out and whatever the bad deeds you have performed will be seen and it will be converted into the good thing deeds so do visit this all this has connected with some river so by uh, bathing that river and visiting the temple will be the one of the very auspicious things so do visit this and find the changes in your life i was experiencing since many years but uh, recently i have visited two three jyotirling and it give me uh, inspiration that do me share with this uh, my viewers so do visit that if you are not able to visit just pray that the photos are always available in the uh, google or anywhere and just take keep the photo with you pray with this do mantra and get a relief so that is my uh, view about this and you can use it feel it and share it god bless you thank you very much namaste